Purple Cap IPL 2024, use Vendra Chahal tops the list after Rajasthan Royals win against Royal Challengers Bangalore. The Delhi High Court on April 9, Tuesday, sought a response from the Sports Ministry on a plea by the Wrestling Federation of India, WFI, challenging its suspension. Justice Subramaniam Prasad has served a notice to the Union Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports, directing it to submit its response to the petition within four weeks. The High Court scheduled the case for further hearing on May 28. WFI had been suspended on December 24, 2023, by the Center. This decision was taken three days after the body elected new office bearers, due to purported violations of the organization's constitution during decision-making processes. Senior advocate Dayan Krishnan, who represents WFI, stated that the federation did not receive a no-show cause notice prior to the decision for indefinite suspension. He argued that the ministry's action violated both the constitutional provisions of WFI and the National Sports Code, which mandates issuing a show cause notice before taking such actions, thereby disregarding principles of natural justice. The central government had suspended WFI, citing the Federation's hasty announcement of organizing the U15 and U20 nationals without following due procedure and not providing sufficient notice to wrestlers for preparations. The ministry believed that the new WFI body was operating under the complete control of its former office bearers, which was not compliant with the National Sports Code. The suspension of the Wrestling Federation of India occurred in December 2023. Sanjay Singh, closely associated with multiple-term BJP Lok Sabha MP Bridge Bush and Sharan Singh, took over his position after Sharan Singh became embroiled in a sexual harassment case following complaints from women wrestlers. A coordinated bench of the High Court is set to consider a plea on Wednesday filed by four wrestlers, including Tokyo Olympics bronze medalist Bodhra and Punia. They are seeking directives to the ministry to refrain from lifting WFI's suspension and to appoint a single-member committee to assume control of the Federation's management and administration.